Merry Christmas, everybody. I want to invite children of all ages to come close and get ready to worship. Today, we celebrate that Jesus is born. God is with us. Hope and peace and joy and love are all wrapped up together like he was, a gift from God for all of us. The angel said to the shepherds, See, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. Come, let us worship God.
prepare for Jesus Christ's birthday, let us pray to God, saying sorry for the things that we have done wrong. Let us pray. God of love, we want to tell you the whole truth. This world is full of wrong, and there are lots of things that we have done that are wrong. We pay attention to things that are not important. We forget you. We fight and argue with one another. We do not practice peace toward our family, friends, and community. We are sorry for these things, and we ask for your forgiveness. Help us to follow you. Sisters and brothers, good news, great joy, the grace of God has come. Let us declare the good news of the gospel. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. If you don't know this piece, it's very repetitive and you can catch on quickly. I hope that you'll sing it with me. Angels declare to the shepherds, peace to those whom God favors. And God's favor is more radically inclusive than we can imagine. God favors everyone. And God's peace is for us. We pass that peace with one another. So I invite you to pass the peace with your family or those you're worshiping with. Text, email, or call others and pass the peace of Christ with them. Share with them the joy of Christmas. The peace of Christ be with you. Our scripture reading on this Christmas Eve night is Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. This is the story of Christmas. You may have this story in a nativity set in your home. If you do, you could go and get your set and bring it close to you now. You could pause this worship video, and that way you'll be able to see these characters as you hear them read in the story. Hear now the word of the Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. And Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, 
keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all of the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the, the highest heaven, heaven and, and on earth peace among, among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had seen and heard, as it had been told to them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Usually on Christmas Eve, we gather here with our costumes and our halos and our props, and we tell the Christmas story together with our children and our youth. There's a lot of movement and action in this room, and it's very joyful and wonderful. This year, we had to tell it a little bit differently because we couldn't gather in person. We are telling it in pictures from our homes and from our yards. But it turns out it is no less joyful to tell it this way. We are delighted to bring to you our first and hopefully our only Christmas pageant virtually. It happened a long time ago that Caesar Augustus sent an order through the Roman Empire that all the people under his rule should go to the cities and towns from which their families had come to have their names written on a list. Because Joseph and Mary were from the family of David, they went from Nazareth to Bethlehem. After a long journey, Mary and Joseph came to Bethlehem and found the city full of people who, like themselves, had come to be counted. They looked for a place to stay, but there was no room for them in the inn. No one in the busy city knew that Mary was soon to be the mother of the Lord of all the earth. The best they could do was to go to a stable, where the cows and other animals were kept. That night, the stable became a holy place. The Savior of the world was born. Mary held the promised child in her arms, and her heart was filled with love. This tiny child was the Son of God. Joseph put some soft hay in the manger, the feed box for the cows, and he laid the baby Jesus there to sleep. On that night, there were shepherds tending their sheep in a field near Bethlehem. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy for all people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly, with that one angel, a whole multitude of angels appeared, praising God and saying, 
Glory to God in the highest and peace on earth. When the angels went away into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see what has happened. And they went quickly and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And they told everyone they met what they had seen, praising God, and all who heard it wondered. But Mary kept all these things, pondering them in her heart. In a country far away in the east lived some very wise ones who studied the stars. One night they saw a strange star shining in the sky. They learned that the star meant that a king was soon to be born. They set out on a long journey with camels and horses to follow the star. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they asked, where is the new baby king, the king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. King Herod was troubled. He called his chief priests and scribes together and asked them where the Christ child would be born. And they told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, according to the prophets. Then Herod called the wise ones to him. He told them to go to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search for the young child, and when you have found him, tell me, so that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they left, and the star which they saw in the east went before them until it came and stood over the place where the young child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with great joy. And when they came into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother. And they knelt down and worshipped him. They opened their treasures and presented the Christ child with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. That night, God sent a dream to the wise ones, telling them not to go back to Herod, but to go home to their own land by another way. And Jesus grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the blessing of God was upon him.
Each year we receive a special Christmas Eve offering. And this year our Christmas Eve offering is directed towards COVID-related relief for the Malagsi people of Madagascar. In just a moment, our mission co-worker Elizabeth Turk is going to tell us more about that offering and that need. And I encourage you to live generously and give generously in your lives. Join me now in this invitation to the offering. As the wise ones offered their gifts to Jesus, gold and frankincense and myrrh, we offer our gifts to be used in his name with love and joy and hope. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Turk, Peace USA mission coworker serving in Madagascar. COVID-19 is causing a crisis in Madagascar, which was already one of the poorest countries in the world. The Madagascar Mission Network is raising funds to assist the FJKM Church and its ministries to those who are most impacted by the crisis. Drastic measures were taken to prevent COVID-19 from spreading rapidly, including shutting down schools and worship services and calling on people to stay home. These measures were relaxed in October, but the economic consequences of the crisis are extreme, especially for people with low income who depend on today's wages for tonight's supper. A shop owner told us that people are now buying essentials in very small quantities like a half a cup of rice or seven cents of cooking oil at a time. Many people are going hungry. The COVID crisis has also been devastating for Madagascar's endemic plants and animals. Tourism has plummeted to almost zero and tourist revenue used for conservation is absent. Deforestation has increased as people hit hard by the pandemic are cutting trees to make charcoal killing animals to get protein, and relying more on slash and burn agriculture for growing crops. The FJKM Church has not been spared. Student pastors, pastors, and FJKM staff have had COVID-19 and some have died. The canceled church services and reduced income of members resulted in a huge drop in the FJKM's revenue. Because of this, all 330 employees paid by the national office have been on half salary since May. Most staff are now living on about $30 a month. The FJKM Church received some assistance early in the crisis from partners for its ministries. These ministries educate about COVID and care for vulnerable populations. However, the economic crisis is continuing and the FJKM still has a funding gap. Staff are still on half salary, and this is likely to continue in 2021. Recognizing the extreme hardship that COVID has caused the Malagasy people and the FJKM Church, the Madagascar Mission Network is seeking to raise $20,000 to assist the FJKM as it deals with the crisis facing the church and the country. These funds will be used for outreach ministries to vulnerable groups and to offer a COVID relief package to its national staff and retired pastors without a pension. Every contribution will make a difference. Together, we can reach the goal. Please pray for the FJKM as it seeks to lead and serve in these challenging times. Your prayers and contributions remind FJKM members that they do not walk alone. Thank you for caring. Misocha Betsa Katumko. As we pray today, there's going to be a time in which you have the opportunity to respond with words. The words are, live with us, Emmanuel. And I will say, Lord, in your mercy, and we will all respond with, live with us, Emmanuel. 
I want to teach you how to sign these words so that you can involve your body in this prayer as well. The sign for live is live, like thumbs up going up, with, which is two hands fist bumping together, us, which is pointing to yourself and then going across your chest, and then the sign for E, which is Emmanuel. So let's practice real quick. Live with us, Emmanuel. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for the joy you give to all people with Jesus. We celebrate his birthday along with angels, shepherds, and animals. We praise you. Lord, in your mercy, live with us, Emmanuel. We pray for creation, the whole wide world, Madagascar, the church, our country, our city. God, be with all your people. Make your presence be known. Lord, in your mercy, live with us, Emmanuel. Be near to those who are alone, sick, sad, mad, hurting, without a home, hungry. Provide for our needs. Lord, in your mercy, live with us, Emmanuel. We pray for help in sharing Christ's love with all. Give us courage and strength. Give us wisdom and compassion. May all come to know your peace. Lord, in your mercy, live with us, Emmanuel. We pray these words, Holy One, with the words you taught us long ago, praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Hi friends, Merry Christmas. I want to invite the children to come close because I have a present for them. Some of you have in your Faith at Home kit a present that was wrapped up and it said, do not open until Christmas Eve worship. Well, guess what? That's what this is. And if you have your gift, go get it. You can pause the video and come back and bring it. We're going to open it together. If you don't have one, that's okay. This one is for you. And I'm going to open it and we're going to share it together. Let's see what's inside. I like opening presents. I probably should have had a different way to wrap the ribbon because it's hard. Let's see. It's fun to open. I don't usually open them on video, but here we'll see what's inside. It's a book. It's a beautiful book. Silent Night. I think that's what's in your present too. It's a book by Laura Hawthorne. And I peeked inside and it's the words to the Christmas carol, Silent Night, Holy Night. We sing it every Christmas Eve and we're going to sing it this year too. We're going to sing it a little bit later. And you can follow along in your book, but I thought we might read it together and look at the pictures. I know that Jeremy knows some stuff about this Christmas carol. Jeremy, are you there? Hey, Julie, I am here. And I'm so glad that we're singing the carol Silent Night tonight because Silent Night seems to fit this uh, Christmas especially well because it has a pretty neat story behind it. Some of you may already know this story. Our choristers learned about this Christmas carol a few years ago. So the carol Silent Night comes to us from far away across the ocean. It was uh, written in a country called Austria, which is across the ocean in Europe. 
and it was originally written in the language German, uh, because the people in Austria sing German. But you know what? The people in the little this little town called Oberndorf in Austria, they were having a Christmas that wasn't very normal. Everyone was getting ready for Christmas Eve and the big service at the church. Christmas Eve morning, the organ at the church broke and they couldn't fix it in time to get ready for the service. So the pastor at the church and the organist got together and said, what can we do to celebrate Christmas tonight, people are expecting music at church. Well, they came up with the idea to write a new Christmas carol. And so they wrote Silent Night. In German, it's Stille Nacht. And they wrote this carol, and they performed it with just a guitar. So that Christmas, things seemed a little bit different. They didn't go like the normal Christmas. And that might be feeling like our Christmas this year. A lot of things are different in our world. And so Silent Night seems to be the perfect carol to sing. Let's read it together. And you can follow along or watch the pictures on the screen. And Jeremy's going to play it for us. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round yon virgin, mother and child. Holy infant, so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. Silent night, holy night, shepherds quake at the sight. Glories stream from heaven afar. Heavenly hosts sing, Alleluia. Christ the Savior is born. Christ the Savior is born. Silent night, holy night, Son of God loves pure light. Radiant beams from thy holy face with the dawn of redeeming grace. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round yon virgin, mother and child, holy infant, so tender and mild. Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. I'd like to invite you to light a candle at your home. Light the Christ candle on your Advent wreath. Join me now as we light the Christ candle. In Jesus Christ is life, and the life is the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness will not overcome it.
Friends, the light of Christ is among us. Bear this light. Keep this light. Let it illuminate your life and let your life illuminate the lives of others. May the love of God, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Spirit be with you this day and always. Amen. Merry Christmas. Thank you.